Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we will check fresh kit from Special Hobby. As usual you can find link to the review article here in the video description below and don't forget to check it because there you will find text in English and Russian with detailed photos. And here you can see this is a new 172nd scale aircraft, it's bought on pole by all and this particular edition copy is civilian and foreign users of this aircraft so this is a fresh release which should be available from now on and we gonna check it uh, as you can see box is not that big here you can see comparison with my hand we have this beautiful box art on the front then on the side we have some information about the kit that it's made in Czech Republic and also it's a limited edition then here we have information about the manufacturer and some safety advices and that's pretty much all. It's a top opening box and that's what we have inside. As you can see assembly manual is on the top so let's start from it. Uh, this is a small brochure with short history note in English and Czech languages. Then we have parts map and assembly process starts with cockpit then gradually continues into the fuselage wings, canopy and here we have marking guide for the red option, marking option, two white options and that's pretty much all. So only three marking options and here we have small list of other available kits from the same manufacturer. Next we have plastic frames of course, these are packed into the same plastic bag so be careful and check them before the purchase if you can. Let's open them and check what's inside. Inside we have resin parts packed into the ziplock bag. The same can be said about the canopy and decals. So at least those won't fly around the box. Now just give me a second. I will remove resin parts out of the plastic bag and we will check them closer. So resin parts provide us wing ends. I guess it will be possible to close wings, also wheels, road wheels for the landing gear, some external elements and two fuel tanks here which are molded as one piece parts. Next we have some parts for the cockpit. Here we have, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a quite an interesting situation. Why? Because here we have two seats and two rudder sticks, but one broke away. I won't remove it from the back in order not to lose it. But here you can see this minor part. I will zoom in so that you can see the one which is broken off here. So be careful as I said before and check it before the purchase. Then we have another plastic bag with canopy. Canopy is molded as a one piece part, so we won't be able to replicate open canopy. But at least it is molded in this nice quality as you can see here but masks are not included so get ready to cut all those small squares. Then we have small decal sheet which is packed together with P thread. Again I need a second to remove them and we will check them closer. P thread is unpainted but it features some cockpit elements. Also we have small black film which replicates dials on the dashboard then we have decal sheet which is segmented so that you can just cut the part which you need for your marking option and use it and of course printing quality is quite nice uh, then we have plastic parts so we have here two wing versions as you can see one is molded as a one piece part and it is let's say folded version and then we have another one which can be used to replicate the let's say closed wing and as you can see here we have four parts which should be assembled together inside there are no position pins so get ready to be careful with attachment of those parts together but otherwise molding quality seems to be nice for such kit and with careful assembly you can get a really nice result and last but not the least is a frame which features the main parts let's say uh, in this kit, these are fuselage halves which are molded together with tail segment and rudder. Also we have here tail wings which are molded as one piece parts, cockpit floor, uh, landing gear fairings, uh, also propeller hub, everything is here. Note that propeller will be assembled with separate blades 
and the inside there is minor cockpit detailing I will zoom in so that you can see it here is one and here is the second one and of course it will be enhanced with help of PE parts and there are no position pins inside so again be ready to work with these parts so that's all for this video review I hope you enjoyed it as usual leave your opinion here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual bye